Hello, today we are going to talk about BetaBlocks. BetaBlocks is a block-based coding platform. Using BetaBlocks, we can build 3D objects like this. You can print those objects if you have a 3D printer. There are lots of sample projects available here. I will open one of my projects to see what we can do with BetaBlocks. The project name is Twin Tower. Now I'm going to open the project. You can see the small object rolling. That is the beetle and it's drawing the shape. He can draw square, circle, line, anything based on the commands we give him. He is building the tower. It has four parts. He is building part one. He is uh, he's a bit slow today. Maybe he had lunch. Now he finished the first part. Now doing the second. And now the third. And the fourth. Now he's doing the second tower, but I'm going to pause this program. I'm going to speed this up a little. Put this in turbo mode. Full screen. Then I put it play. Voila. You can see the two towers are made and a bridge for connecting it. Now I'm going to show you how to make, uh, how what we can do with beaten blocks. You can create an account to log in or just click here to go to the coding platform. These are the blocks to control the beetle. Now I'm going to maximize the screen so we can see better. This is the place where you make your code and this is the place where you see your code in Excel. Hmm? This is the green flag to start the program and the yellow button is for to pause the program and the red stop sign is to um, stop the pro program and he is Mr. Beetle. These three X, the, these lines are called axes. Um, they, they show the direction and they mean three dimensional and in 2D you can only see two axes. And if you don't want to see this beetle, uncheck it. And if you don't want to see this axis, uncheck it. And if you don't want to see the grid, uncheck it. The, then you can see X, Y, Z and Z. Um, all, the position is all zero. Now I'm going to show you some of the blocks what in motion make do. If I press move one step, it will move one step. Rotate Z by fifth. Rotate block. Rotate and move. Move and to go back to its original position, I go to control and take reset. And you can still see the X, Y and Z are still zero. Oh, but when I move one step, the X is 1. Now, to make him fly, he takes set Z rotation to 0. Change this to Y, this to 90. 90. Then we put this one here. Now you can see him fly and the Z here is 4. He's flying like Superman. And if we put it minus one, he will go behind. So he reset. You can delete the block like this. Or you can just put them together and just throw them here. Now I'm going to show you how to make a square, a simple square. We take when green flag is clicked, then go to shapes, take start excluding curves, change curves, change curves to lines, and if I just press it, you can see one dot have been created. Put start excluding lines, 
take this reset then if i put motion change this to three we put this here you can see one line have been formed now we are going to rotate it and make another line so we take this rotate lock change 15 to 90 put this here then we take another move on move change it to three put this here you can see another line of form but we have to repeat this and a um, few more two more times so we take out this we go to controls and take the repeat block change 10 into 4 take this put this to here put this now you can see one square has been formed now i'm going to show you how to make a stack of squares we going we are going to go to motion through this we take change absolute change x to z 1 to point 2. put take this put this here we go to control take the repeat block change it to 2 Oh, let the, the two swallow it. You can see two squares on top of each other. Now we change it to 10. You can see 10, a stack with, you can see a stack with 10 squares. Looks cool, right? Now if we put it in wire frame. Now, if we put it in 2D, you can see only see one square because it's only seeing the top part. Now, if we put wireframe, everything will look like wires. You can even the, see the beetle right here. So, this is the end of the video. Maybe in the next video, we'll see more cool things about beetle blocks so for now stay safe bye